Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tech Motoric. I'm here outside of an EVgo charging station here and I'm going to get my auto charge set up. Similar to plug and charge on like Electrify America, you can have an auto charge account with EVgo. And I haven't set up my car yet, so we're sitting here in my 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E. We're going to get the auto charge set up as we can see here on my phone. And then we're going to go from there and see how well it works. So stick around. Let's see exactly how this process is. All right, everybody. Well, as you can see here on my app, we have Auto Charge Plus. So it says pending next session. So we need to initiate a charge with the app. So it says to complete enrollment, initiate a fast charge at an EVgo station. Auto Charge Plus is not available for level two chargers. Plug in the CCS. So let's go ahead. Let's plug in the car. Let's see how this acts and uh, just kind of get an idea of, of what we're expecting when we plug in with Auto Charge. All right, so we see here we got um, our Wawa Malvern. So what unit is this? This is spot number 46. I think that is what is necessary here. Um, so let's click on that. And now we need to go to, what's the name? This is Vita. So we have Vita. It's a 350 kilowatt. Ooh, I probably shouldn't be. Well, you know what? That's okay. Um, so we're going to click on the CCS combo on the right side here. It says, please wait before plugging in. Uh, so it's going to do yes, enroll, and start charging. And let's go ahead and says plug in with CCS combo within 60 seconds. All right. All right. So we should have the right one here. So let's go ahead, put that down, get our CCS handle. Looks exactly like, oh. <laughs> All right. Hopefully we did that in time. So let's take a look. Payment has been authorized. Look at that. I didn't have to activate anything from the app. Just heard a loud bang in the cabinet back there. Checking cable safety. All right, we're hearing some contactors clicking. That's good. Taking a little bit to connect to the vehicle. Matching voltage, all right. Multiple step process for the handshake. And there we go. So 40% state of charge. Shows we're starting to charge with time. Here's our power ramping up. Let's see what we do today, because for those of you who've been watching this road trip, we haven't been doing very well with charging power. We're at 40% state of charge. This is the best I've seen at 40% state of charge in a long time. Wow. We're actually getting proper current here. Wow, normally at 40%, we're down to below 100, usually about 90. Oh, it looks like it might be ramping down anyway. But anyway, there we go. There's auto charge. Let's hit info here. Okay, just brings us to some info. Session details. Okay, there we go. So we see the voltage, 364 volts. Amperage, about 250-something amps going into it. 93 kilowatts. All right. Very cool. Okay, and as we can see here now in the app, it does say that Auto Charge Plus is enrolled. So this vehicle is now enrolled in Auto Charge Plus, which is really cool. So now if I ever go to an EVgo, all I have to do is grab the handle out of the station, plug it into the vehicle, and boom, we're charging just like that. Just like plug and charge on Electrify America, we have that same functionality here with this Ford Mustang Mach-E, and it works on a bunch of other cars as well with Auto Charge Plus. So really, really cool. Uh, we're going to try this. We're going to test it in a second here and see if it actually works. We're going to unplug the car, plug it back in, and see how well that works. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so as we can see here, the uh, we're currently charging. We just enrolled the car in Auto Charge Plus, so we're at 60% state of charge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend as if we just came up to the charger here. So I just stopped the charging session. Oh, I like how it has a confirmation to charge the end, uh, charge, end the charging session. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start this process over. We're just gonna let it finish its processing here. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the handle, we're gonna plug it into the car. We're not gonna activate anything. We're not gonna do anything special. We're just literally going to just take the handle, plug it in the car, see how auto charge works, if it does work, and then just kind of see how cool this process is. So it's really cool that EVgo is starting to do, um, you know, this plug-in charge experience because this is really the biggest hassle a lot of people have is, uh, you know, getting to a charger and then trying to figure out how to charge the car. Um, we came across just on this trip, 
if you haven't watched us or followed us on this trip, we're heading from Myrtle Beach up to New Jersey, and we came across a charger which did not have a the screen was shot. The backlight was shot, the screen was just destroyed. But thankfully, because the Maki -E had plug in charge, I just plugged it in at this Electrify America and it charged up. Well, now we have EVGO who's doing the same thing. So now we're at just the default, the default screen that you would go to when you plug in the car. So what we're gonna do here is just gonna give it a second to default back. So there you go. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna plug in. Sorry for all the background noise. It's very busy. There's a highway right here. Payment has been authorized, as we can see here. Contactors are clicking. We're starting to hear sounds going. Now it's going through the process of checking the, the vehicle for you know safety measures and everything like that. It's gonna then have voltage match each other in the pack and charger, and then it'll start charging. I can already hear it starting to do its things. There's the matching voltage, three of three, and we're charging. So just like that, Auto Charge Plus, exactly like uh, Plug In Charge with Electrify America, EVGO is now doing this. They even support Teslas. So if you have a Tesla with the uh, CCS to Tesla adapter, you can actually set up Auto Charge Plus. So like for instance, we're here today, right, and there is superchargers here there's some superchargers back here and if you for some reason came here and all the superchargers were full for some weird reason um, you could go over here to EVGO plug in with your CCS adapter and Auto Charge Plus would just work for you which is really cool so let's take a look back at the screen here and as we can see we are now charging 61% state of charge we're going about 69 kilowatts right now on the Mach-E you know, so we're doing really well with charging. So I'm really happy I finally got to set up my Auto Charge Plus on this car because it's something I've always wanted to do. And um, yeah, so just opportunity happened and now we can finish up our trip up to uh, Jersey. So anyway, thanks for watching episode today. Check us out on all our social medias down in the description below and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. And uh, remember, welcome to the future. Welcome to tech motoring. And it's cold, so I'm getting back in the car. I'll see you soon.